Hello in YouTube land. Armando here with another review of uh, one of these guys. Well, see, Batman v Superman. Here's the first release of Batman in the regular outfit. Here's the future Batman with the trench coat. Battle armor Batman. Look how the zoom, look, I'm messing with the zoom, look. It automatically zooms in. Here's Wonder Woman. And here's Soups with a silver shield. Apparently there is a uh, variant with a gold shield. But today, check it out. Da -da -da -da. It's Aquaman. And this is the variant with the bronze color scheme. The armor is all bronze. And he has tattoos on his body. It's a very nice figure. Now, there was three other ones on the shelf, but they did not have tattoos. And the armor was not bronze, it was yellow. And it wasn't as detailed. So this is the chase figure. This is the one to get. The one with the tats. And with the bronze uh, plastic. Trident, see? And if you're lucky to find one, this is the one to get. Because uh, I'm sure he's going to play an important role in part two, whatever happens to part two. Look at the back. It's got, let me raise the camera, see? It's got that rainy rooftop thing. And it was only a few seconds in the, the video that uh, Diana Prince was looking at on, on, on uh, the private, what was it, the information from uh, Luther's uh, drive his military grade encryption USB drive, whatever it is, whatever he had on there. Look at the package. See, look. Epic battle. Let's see if I can put my finger. See, if I put my finger, they should zoom in. Epic battle Superman. Gratinal blast Batman. And battle armor Batman with the green arms. I don't know why they make those weird Batmans. Uh, let's take a look. Can we get the camera to zoom in? Let's see. Let's see. Let's play with the light there. Ah, yes. Now it's it's perfectly clear. See? Three sad onions right there. Why, oh, why onions are you sad? Shout out to Stuart Ashes across the pond. Look. Service.mattel.com The... Batman v Superman logo, the Mattel logo, MattelShop.com website, and conforms to the safety requirement requirements of Astom F963. Oh, I have a Java update available from Windows 10. Thank you, Windows 10. And look at that face. Jason Momoa reincarnated uh, in plastic form. It's actually a very nice figure. I like this one. Uh, the other ones look kind of weird. <clears throat> That's what we need. Look. Specialist equipment here. Box Cutter of Freedom. Da, 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 da. The Box Cutter of Freedom. All right, let, let's open this up. Since it's uh, Aquaman, let's uh, let's do it like an oyster. I'm just going to uh, stab it here on the, somewhere on the side here. Like this. How about like this? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, just rock it back and forth to get it in there. All right, it's cutting. Now cut towards yourself. Yeah, there you go. It's like an oyster. Look at that. Ah, yes, yes. And if you hurt yourself, well, you learn from it. Then you'll do it the other way. Ah, yes. Look, cut. Keep cutting. Look, follow the knife. Don't just rip your blister cards open. That way you can save the artwork for later. Look at that. Look at that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, all right, look at that. Uh, oh. Uh, some of the glue came off from the packaging right there. See how it's loose? Look. Oh, no. Oh, well, it can't all be perfect. Let's get them out of the package. That's why we call it an unboxing. We're going to unbox it. Just call it an unpacking video because 
It's not a box. It's a pack. A blister pack. Maybe I should start finding, call, calling them unpacking videos. I don't know. Anyway. Here we go. We'll put that aside. And we'll move the camera down. Here we go. We're losing the audience. We're five minutes in. All right. Here we go. All right. 1080p at its finest. Here we go. A moment of clarity. There he is. Uh, bends at the elbow. Shoulder moves up and down. No, no ball joints in the shoulders. No wrist joints. That's sad. Head turns a little. Hair gets in the way a little bit. Uh, knee bends. No problem on the knee. Look, very smooth operation. Uh, he's got a weird little thing here. I don't know. Is that supposed to be a sheath or something? Or it's his purse. It's uh, I don't know. It's something. Ah, oh, there's writing on his butt. Let's read the writing on the butt. Can we read it? It says DC Comics. Made in China, 2015, Mattel. It's got some numbers, which I can't read, and some letters, and then more numbers. Some kind of code. All right. There we go. I'm just getting too old, folks. I'm getting too old for this. All right. Here we go. Ah, uh, the trident. See, which hand would he hold it in? Like this? Would he be left-handed? We hold it here like this, and then maybe over here. Or It'd be cool if you could turn the wrist, and then he could really hold it. Uh, I'll just put it like that. Just rest it on his wrist. Ah, there you go. This is the, the coolest Aquaman I've ever seen. It beats the one with the fish hook can and the... Uh, the one with the weird outfit from the the original and uh, this is neat. I like to see him fight Namor over in the Marvel universe. Prince Namor, who's the real ruler of Atlantis now? I don't know. The other dude has winged feet. But did you see how fast he swam in the movie? Took off like a torpedo. He swam just as fast uh, as fast as Superman can fly. Wonder what his name is. is it going to be Arthur Curry in the film? We don't know, but it's Jason Momoa. Look at that. Is he going to recreate his Game of Thrones sex scenes in the sequels? Is he going to get it on with Wonder Woman over there? Uh, yeah, he's looking at her. <laughs> oh, what a horrifying thing. Okay, here we go. Well, it's got some nice boots. Look at that. Got some... Uh, spikes here some fins maybe so you could help them swim i saw the 20 dollars version of this figure and uh, it's got more articulation but uh, for eight dollars and 64 cents on rollback it's pretty good so yes i think i've got all the ones i like there's more in the line different figures but uh, as far as the basic ones that are, i think stand out these are pretty cool so let's put them next to soups over here right about there See, now that's pretty cool. Look. Da, 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 da. They're all there. So, yeah, folks, if you haven't seen this movie, go out, check it out. Batman v Superman. You can't decide what to watch? Go check it out. It's worth a watch. You need to see it. They put a lot of hard work into it. And the Mattel designers did a lot of hard work on these figures. I mean, these are very nice, and for the price, very good. When you get them all together, I mean, they really stand out. Now, uh, as far as that flash that showed up in the film, I'm still on the fence about him. Looked like he was wearing some kind of armor. And it's a different flash. They should have got the guy from the TV show. Uh, what's his name? G Grant Gustin or something like that. He would have been cool. Like, if he showed up in the flash, I would, everybody would go, hey, it's the flash. But then when they show that other dude, they're like, who the hell is that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's the only gripe I have about the film. 
they should have used a different flash. But hey, maybe that new guy will surprise me. Who knows? But these figures are cool. And maybe if they made a flash figure, we could see what he looks like. Because, I mean, it was looking weird in that time travel thing. I mean, if it looks just as cool as Aquaman, it might be pretty nice. All right, guys, we're here in at uh, 10 minutes and 24 seconds. If you like this stuff, hit the subscribe button. I'll be making more videos. And, yes, leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Let me know what you think. All right, peace out, guys. That's Aquaman from Batman v Superman. Go out and find one. Let's put him right there. There you go. Thumbnail.